Hello everyone, welcome to the Splendor tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create this um, blurred text effect, which is very similar to a tutorial on Video Copilot for After Effects. I will put the link to that tutorial into the description. But now let's get started. Okay, in Blender we will work in the internal render engine and I have already set up the camera where I need it just along the z-axis and first of all I will add text let's center it right here and move it down and by pressing the tab key we can edit the text to whatever we wanted to say Add a nice material to the text, I'd say shadeless and a slightly bluish color. And as world setting I want a complete black background. Let's look at this, okay, very simple, it says title and that's all. Then on another layer we will add a plane and I will call this mask because we will use this plane to slowly reveal the text. Scale it up so it fills the entire screen. So we insert a keyframe pressing I location on the first frame and on the last frame just out of screen and now the plane will gradually reveal the title but how do we get it to actually slowly as slowly unveil the title St uh, we don't really want it to completely block it out, but we want to have the blur effect and for that we need to add another render layer. Let's call this one mask and it will only use the second layer because that's where we have the plane on. And important, we want to include the object index object index you can find that with the plane selected and uh, the object data settings pass index right now this object has a pass index of zero i will set it to one what will this allow us to do Render layer, I only want this. So, what will this do? Backdrop. We already have the render layer for the text. Shift D to duplicate it and switch to the mask layer. And now, converter ID mask. And remember, we set the pass index to 1. So, this will be here. And now, if we include this index object pass, we will see the mask that our plane object gives us. And if we use mix, multiply, we will get this half of the text, but of course we want, we don't want the text to disappear, but to reappear slowly. So we use an invert node and this will slowly cause the text to appear one piece at a time. But how do we get the blur effect? It's simple, filter, blur and for this we will have to use the Gaussian blur, not the fast Gaussian, but beware normal Gaussian blur can be quite uh, heavy on your computer and it will slow it down. That's why I have reduced the render size to 30% for the preview because that will speed it up a bit, make it workable. 
So we use the index ID mask and white will be completely blurred, black will be no blur at all when we use variable size and I will use relative just because. Okay. So we want to use the ID mask and we of course want, don't want a harsh transition but a smooth transition that's why we add a blur here but there we can use the fast Gaussian blur relative and along the x-axis let's say 20 this looks smooth enough so now if we use this as the size input and this as the image input what do we see well not much why is that of course i don't have set any blur yet twenty and twenty and now we have some blur here and a completely clear image here but right now since we use the same id mask the blur and the reveal are more or less on the same part of the frame and i want to reveal a bit earlier then it's st it starts to become unblurred again or sharp again and to do that we add a dilate erode node and with this we can move the white part of the image a bit into one direction and as i'd say let's say 50 might be a bit much 30 so now we have a big blur here and slowly over time if i render this here the image will become sharpened and don't forget to connect this to the composite output let's quickly check this by going to video sequence editor and adding our scene press n while the mouse hovers over this window and deselect opengl preview and this way we will get a preview of what our effect looks like of course this will take some time as I said, the fast, uh, the Gaussian blur effect is quite slow. So it will take a while to get the preview render done, but we have to use the Gaussian blur because the fast Gaussian version doesn't allow us to use variable size. Just looking at some simple frames here, I get, I guess you get the idea of the reveal. So back to the default view. What's missing now is to add the lens flare, but that's not really part of the blur effect. I just added it to have a bit extra. For that, I add a plane. Tap to enter edit mode and delete these three vertices. Um, Shift S, move selection to cursor. And right now we have the single vertex in the center. But on frame one, we want it to be a bit out of frame. I to insert location keyframe on 
and on the last frame we want it to be out of frame location okay this will move slowly across the screen and we will add another layer for this and call it flare just include the third layer add a material that we will call flare as well a halo sized uh, Add some rings in a similar color, add some lines. Soft and a quick render. This is what it will look like. Node editor, shift D to get a render layer up, use flare. This is what our flare will look like. And we will use the clear filter for some ghosts to get an actual lens flare going. Not too much color modulation, I don't like it that much. And then we simply mix and add it on top of our image. And if we check it out now, refle refresh sequencer. We start here with a lens flare going across the screen. And as, as it goes across the screen, the text will be slowly revealed. Just let me quickly check the first frame. We might need to move it a little bit further away, so we start with a empty screen and the lens flare not visible right from the start. That looks okay. And basically you can adjust the timing still. Oh, and one thing, uh, since I've used the video editor, sometimes you get some weird results when you try to render and it still has the video editing in there when you only use it for RAM previewing, deactivate it before you do your final render, then you will avoid some strange effects. And this is what it will look like. Of course, you can adjust the timing so the lens flare will be exactly timed up with the logo reveal. But that's all for now. I hope you learned something. Happy blending and see you next time.